Hey, what's up? It's Kevin from Ludwig here in Chicago at Strobe Studios with Atlas developer Josh Allen talking about the setup of the new Atlas Pro hi-hat stand. Now, it's, it's got really amazing features and really advanced design, but there are a few features about it that are a little bit outside the box. We want to take you through those right now, especially in the setup. Josh, what do you think? Sure. So uh, this is about how it would come out of the box uh, in two pieces, the, the bottom part and the, uh, the top with the actuation rod. So to set up the base, first you're going to tip the main post up and fold the legs out and tighten those in place. Now you want this top clamp to sit all the way down uh, to where it stops and that will make sure the stand is vertical when you have it all set up. Now we need to address the base here. Um, when you set this base uh, into its playing position, you want to do it by holding the footboard. You don't want to hold the base plate or the heel plate here, you want to hold the footboard. When I lift that up, you can see it kind of flips the position that it's sitting in. So when I'm holding that, what I'm trying to do is lock this pin into the hook on the back of the pedal. So I slide it up a little bit and line those up and it's latched in place. Now it's supporting itself and ready to go. Um, to lock it in place, there's a, there's a locking screw on each side. You can secure those with a drum key and that'll keep it from folding up on you uh, if you lift it up or move it around. I'm really actually amazed at how easy it is to do once you've had a chance to do it a couple of times. And it's so different and yet so radically advanced that it really does take a minute to get used to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very different the way that, that the linkage works uh, just to get everything set in the right spot. The only, the only thing is you just want to remember to grab that footboard rather than anything else. Once you, once you get that down, everything else kind of falls into place. Indeed. It's really important when you're setting the, the top portion here to make sure that the memory lock lines up with the tube joint here in the bottom, that makes sure that everything is nice and tight, and then this attaches in the, in the usual way into the actuation rod right there. And now you're ready for play. Tighten that up, and our tube joint sets everything right in place with the memory lock, and it's ready to play. Absolutely. Um, now, just to go through a few of the adjustments on the stand, uh, there, there's several points that you can adjust, and it's, it's really more of a personal preference thing. You just want to get it to the point where, uh, where it feels right for you. So the first thing that I'll go through is the footboard height adjustment. On the back of the stand, there's a, a drum key screw, and that screw allows you to adjust the footboard angle. So I loosen that up, and then I can move the footboard into the angle that I want. It's important that you keep this section actually stationary while you're moving the footboard so that it, it, you can get it right to where it needs to be. Exactly. So once you have it in place, you tighten that screw down and you're ready to go. There's also a five position uh, uh, spring tension adjustment here that you can use by just by pulling this portion right here, sliding it to the place where you want it, and then turning this knob so that it's the right adjustment just for your foot. Right. Um, and then there's a spur lock on each side of the footboard. Um, if you loosen this screw, you can set it either into the open position where it's going to grab into the carpet and prevent this, the stand from sliding, or you can slide it back here, just rotate it into place under the, the heel plate and lock it down. And this, is, uh, this allows the stand to sit on a rubber base rather than uh, digging into the, the floor or the carpeting. Uh, with the spur. Indeed. One of the things I like about this stand most is just the ease of it breaking down. When you want to break it down, if I may draw your key there, just loosen these two portions right here, the, uh, the stability screws on both sides of the frame. Uh, back them out so that they're not entirely out, but that they slide past this portion right here. And then fold it on up. It's that easy. It's that quick. I'm really quite amazed at, at how easy it is to transport once it's in that folded position. And then once again, when you want to set it up again, you do exactly as Josh told you. Grab it by the foot port, foot plate right there, and then you slide it into place into the hooks. And then you're ready to play again. All right. One last adjustment point on this stand is right up here at the top. Uh, this is the uh, AeroDisc uh, symbol tilter. Um, it has a screw on the front here. You use a drum key to loosen that and then you rotate this disc until it gets the angle that you want. We can demonstrate that with a symbol here. So again, we're just rotating this, this cast disc, and you can see as I rotate that, the angle of the symbol changes. So you set that to the angle that you like, and then you just tighten that screw down and lock it in place, and you're ready to go. You know, and, and a lot of people, and many times, 
uh, want to have this bottom symbol tilted toward them or away from them, you just do that by loosening this portion here, disengaging the memory lock, and then sliding it to wherever it is, the angle that you want that to be. You put the memory lock back into place, and it's real quick, real simple, and it stays there every single time. So it's a really amazing feature for guys who want a really individual setup. Um, having said that, I think we've guided you through all the basic functions of setting up and tearing down, uh, as well as you know, personal adjustment of this hi-hat. Log on to www.ludwig-drums.com slash atlas for more information about this and other Atlas Pro stands. Until then, I'm Kevin. This is Josh. We'll see you later.